Good morning, everybody. Today, sunny, nice and sunny. Today is going to be 26 degrees Celsius here in Melbourne, Australia. I already watered the plants because I'm aware that it's going to be hot today. So I just want to give them some head start on the day. There is not much to do as every day, not much to do, but there is always small things that I, I like to check and I like to, to do. So for example, today, I just wanna come here. This compost was added yesterday. If you watch the, the episode from yesterday, I added these leaves, which uh, my neighbor gave me. And they are like perfect addition for the compost because they, this will give a nice texture to the finished compost in like one year. So I usually throw kitchen scraps, which looks like, looks like that. Lots of kitchen scraps. So what happens is that compost, if it's only kitchen scraps, such as uh, carrot skin or potato, potato peels, um, carrots, um, carrot peels, and things that are like, uh, they call it greens. So if you add too much of that, what's gonna happen is your compost will end up very compacted. So in order for you to actually improve it, you need to add like dry stuff. So this is the dry stuff, dry leaves, things that are looking dry. So you can add like cardboard, um, leaves, um, mulch. So I am going to add some water today. Just because those leaves uh, look pretty dry. And if I add some water, they the speed of the decomposition will be faster. Not that I'm on a hurry, but still I want to do the right thing. So today is a hot day. Just give it a nice, nice watering. The bottom of it is pretty moist, I believe. So not really interested in watering too much, but just enough. So. All the microbes and all the animals, all the worms can be happy in a nice moist environment. Um, herbs are looking good. You know what? I'm gonna get some of this thyme today. Let's do it. So, the same as I did for the oregano, if you watch the previous episodes, I'm just gonna grab a bunch of these leaves. I think if I leave the flowers, it should be fine. But um, I'm gonna grab a few of them, put it in the oven, 50 degrees Celsius for two hours with the fan on. And I will have plenty of time for the next year. For the next months, I don't know. So I need to get something to cut them off. So I got a few tools in here. Um, I got a better one, but I think this is the only one that I can see. Um, these are the pumpkins from last year that I grew. So I have been storing them here, just leaving them there on the floor on top of this, um, I don't know how you call them, grow, but um, no, you don't call it like that. But anyway, so I leave it there. Um, some of them has got moldy, um, but that's because I put them inside the bag. Uh, now I let them get some air, get some sun, get some light, and the mold has not grown on these pumpkins. So they have been there for nearly, I'll say seven months. So it's it's pretty good because you just leave it there and use it when you need it so last year i harvested around 25 pumpkins different sizes just like this like this like that big ones like this 
that it was 25. So it was a very good harvest and I have used it all throughout the year. I haven't had to purchase pumpkins on the shops because I, I got enough. I actually gave away some of them. Um, now that we are here, I'm also gonna grab this mulch. I'm gonna place it on the potatoes. Because I said that I was going to do that. So just leave it there. And let's get into business. So, got the thyme. Really, really nice thyme. Good addition in a lot of dishes. Uh, give nice flavor. Uh, this is a lot. As always, it's a lot. They have been growing for a while and I haven't harvested any for like weeks. So now because we are in spring, they just growing like crazy. So, what has happened in previous years is that I have dried them just by hanging them and letting the wind and the sand do its job. But I have been drying the rest of the herbs in the oven now, as I said, 50 degrees Celsius for two hours, and that's been working really well for me. So I'm gonna do the same uh, this for, for the time. ¿Todo bien? ¿Me puedes regalar unas verduras? ¿Qué necesitas? Las que parece asco. Esa la iba a usar para el sangarú. Ah, ya se te acabaron. Sí. Ah. Y como cebolla larga, ¿qué es esta? Eh, esa es onion y todavía no se han terminado de crecer. Es onion, no es cebolla larga. No. Espérame un momentico que estoy haciendo un video. Sí, por eso no te quería dar la compensa. Ok. So, as I, as I was saying, that's my cousin. She just needed some vegetables for her cooking. Um... So as I was saying, yeah, I just been drying them and that's been working really well for me. I put it in a container, glass container, um, keep them dry, keep them nice and it works really well for me. So that's why I prefer that that way. Um, so are a little bit more complicated because they are intertwined is that how you say intertwined um, all around so compared to the oregano you can see the big branches damn this one is growing a lot still so as you can see with the oregano you can see the big branches and you can just chop, chop it but this one is more like you got a big bunch of little thyme plants growing and then you just have to like cut somewhere um, I hope I'm not damaging the plant by cutting the flowers I think it's okay um, but yeah it should be fine Um, last thing to do today got some mulch to put on the potatoes very simple the mulch helps uh, with releasing good nutrients into the soil. It also helps um, the soil to keep the moisture in case there is a hot day. So instead of the water 
evaporizing that it just stays um, inside the inside the bag uh, it prevents weeds which is great that's why I like to use mulch This one is sugar cane mulch, organic. You can see the brand if you are interested in purchasing. And I also water all the seedlings that I have in this greenhouse this morning, which I was aware that they may struggle today because of the hot weather. And hopefully they will be okay. It's looking pretty. These ones are looking sad. I'm concerned about it, but let's hope they're okay. All right, so that's it for today. So today we harvested some thyme. We put some mulch on the potatoes and we added some water to the compost bin. Um, everything is looking fine um, That's it for today uh, If you enjoy the content of the channel, please don't forget to subscribe give it a like Share it anything that you want Anything will help me All right. Have a nice day everybody. See you tomorrow